Hello everyone. How are you doing? I hope you all are keeping great. So, today your Vindhya ma'am is going to talk about a very important notice which has been given by NTA which actually causing a lot of confusion fear among the students. So, let's talk about the latest notice which has been given by NTA which is on 14 Jan 2022 uh, 2025. So, the subject is about updating Aadhaar details of aspirants for NEET UG 2025 examination. So, now it's very important to update the Aadhaar card as per your class 10 standard mark sheet in order to, you know, uh, cause a smooth process, uh, you know, for the smooth verification as well as application process, you have to have a updated Aadhaar card uh, so that you know your application process can be easy but along with which along with this there is something uh, which has been mentioned in this notice so initially here they have given that nta has been entrusted the responsibility of conducting a uh, neat exam the nta aims to ensure seamless and transparent process of process for all aspirants appearing for the neat examination so from here the important stuff start so as per the instruction issued by department of higher education ministry of education integration of apar id with need 2025 with need ug 2025 is to be ensured so what is this apar id why this apar id is integrated with the need ug 2025 examination so this is the id which is the which is actually you know uh, started very recently from the government so just like how there is a voter id for the adult that is after 18 years there is a voter id where you with the help of which you can vote so for every citizen there is the separate number with the help of which you can you know uh, vote in the election so similarly there is a id which has been given to the student okay so apar id stands for Automated Permanent Academic Account Registry. So, if <coughs> if I have a PAR ID with me, if, if I have like my PAR ID, imagine. And if I want to get admitted into uh, some college of some part of India. So, whichever college which I enter, with the help of this PAR ID, that institution can get to know my all the academic details that is what is my score in class 10th class 12th what is the rank i scored in uh, any of the competitive exam so all these details not just this even my uh, correct name address parents name contact number so everything will be there uh, you know in the data if i have my apar id so this is why even nta is ensuring that your apar id first of all you have to have a par id i'll tell you how to produce a par id how to make one apar id of yours so this is why nt is ensuring that your apar id should be integrated with the neat ug 2025 as well so that let's say you uh, want to get admitted into like you want to get admission into uh, aims delhi okay so in aims delhi how they will get to know what is your rank and everything that is through this apar id okay so if you have your apar id and if you have scored let's say 120 or something sorry 720 uh, out of 720 imagine you have scored 720 so aims delhi will be getting to know that you have scored 720 out of 720 in the neat exam through this apar id so that is why it's import important to generate apar id and after generating you have to integrate it with the neat ug 2025 like during the application process so for uh, upcoming ap application process in order to uh, make everything smooth during the application process this notice has been released by nta so they have also written over here to support uh, this objective candidates are encouraged to use their apar id as well as aadhar based authentication during the application and examination process during the application examination process your apar id will be used also your aadhar ka card details will be used for which you have to update your aadhar card details as per your class 10 standard mark sheet and also you have to have a apar id or you have to generate apar id and update it okay so 
<clears throat> updated credentials are highly recommended for ease of verification registration process and to enhance the integrity of the examination process now a uh, neat ug registration process shall be starting very soon right so that is why they are making you nt is making you ready uh, with the you know they are asking you to update your aadhar and keep it ready and get your uh, apar id and get ready okay so candidates are advised to update their credentials in aadhar preferably as per their 10th mark sheet or passing certificate also ensure your aadhar is linked with the mobile number valid mobile number of yours or your parents for otp based authentic authentication so your aadhar card should be linked with the contact number of yours because otp will be coming to that contact number in different verification application process so that's why you need to first link contact number with the aadhar card this is the first thing okay next we have to update you have to update your aadhar card why aadhar is important so they have given different things over here simplified application for the simplified application process for the enhanced examination efficiency faster attendance verification welfare of the candidate so other uh, authentication simplifies process and ensures candidates are uniquely identified safeguarding their interest throughout the examination life cycle facial recognition enables quicker and more accurate identity verification ensuring smooth entry into the exam hall so what candidate should do you should be updating the aadhar credentials so aspirants are advised to ensure that their aadhar details that is specifically the name of the candidate date of the birth of the candidate candidate should be as per 10th standard certificate also your parents name should be as per your 10th standard uh, passing certificate and also you have to update your facial recognition data for which you have to go to aadhar enrollment center okay you should be uh, putting the recent photo okay very recent in the sense like maximum uh, up to 1 1 2 years is enough uh so these things should be up to date for an optimal experience during the registration and verification process okay so this can be done at the nearest aadhar enrollment or update center so first thing that you have to do is link your aadhar card with the contact number which should already should have been done and after which you have to update your aadhar card as per class 10 standard certificate most of the things like names parents name date of birth should be matching also you have to update your photo in the aadhar card now coming to apar card what is this apar id first of all it's a 12 digit number uh, now how to get this apar id there is two option one is through your school or college so first way first way is to uh, first you have to like the first way is through the school you have to visit school with the parents and then the uh, they'll be asking you specifically your parents to fill some form which is actually a consent letter where it will be given that uh, especially it will be asked to your parents whether they are ready to do a par card or not of yours and get parents sign in that and then submit it to the school and then school will be generating through the school a par id will be generated and uh, it will be later uploaded to digi locker app okay so this is the school uh, once now if you do not want to school and if you want to do by yourself for because of various reason you too can do uh, on yourself you can also produce your own apar id card for which you have to first download digi locker and you have to sign in with your contact number and aadhar card number so for which your aadhar card number should be linked with the contact number and once signing in process in the digi locker once it is done now you have to search apar id in the search option and then you will be getting a form where you have to fill your aadhar card date of birth and they'll be asking you uh, what sort of a ident what is that identity number that you want to give so you can give roll number and in the number you can fill class 10 standard roll number which is be been given in the class 10 standard certificate okay and class 10 standard passing year and the school name where you have studied so submit it and you will be getting apar id okay so this is how you can produce you can you know make your own apar id through the digi locker and i hope it is clear 
about the notice which has been uh, issued by NTA. That's all for today. Let's meet in the next class, next video. Until then, bye-bye.